Welcome back to Windows 8. This time we're doing part two. We're gonna go a little bit in deeper. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. So as you can see, you can see our background, how like, how the steampunk red color it has. <laughs> it's not like this, no. Okay, so we're gonna start off on the start screen. As you can see here, like if you look at weather or if you look at the calendar, it's kind of weird, like you can see what's going on. Yeah, there's nothing new with it. It's all like all <laughs> ordinary. But it can get even more ordinary. Like right click on calendar. As you can see, you have a little thing called turn live tile off. Click it. And now it's boring. You don't really see anything. You know what? Not that good. Go back. Turn it back on. The very little excitement it has. Eh, you know what? Just click on it. Just to see what's going on there. Meh, nothing interesting. Let's go back to the um let's get out of here, so just go start menu go to the bottom corner. Okay, so now, say you're looking for a specific, so right click on calendar again and go to all apps. With all apps, you can see all the programs that you've installed, and it makes it much easier. Try scrolling down. Yeah. You can see all the apps you have, everything you have installed. It's convenient. So let's go back to the start menu. So if you go back to the bottom left, huh? it just, you have to scroll way over. Get back to the beginning. Bottom left. OK. So now, say you have a lot of stuff, and it takes way too long just to scroll through. Yeah. Go to the bottom of the screen, and all the way to the right, you see a little minus sign. By clicking on it, you see everything you ever have. Oh, and everything you've pinned onto your normal desktop. So much right easier. Yeah. I know, right? Okay, so what's something interesting? Sports. Okay, so you know, you want to look for sports. If you see the sports icon and you click on it, where it is? It's right there. Huh. It'll take you right to it. Convenient. Now, have you ever looked for something it's like, where is it? Yeah, I can never find it. Man, that sucks. Yeah. Okay, so, mail. Look for the mail. So, you can type in the word mail. Really, just type it in. It'll look for it. Let's see. Uh, I mistyped well, mail. Mistyped it. <laughs> the mobile is what we're looking for. Okay, oh, so as you can see is. here, you can just look up any app. Now, say you're looking for the word mail, like not the app itself, but if you used mail in a like Word just, document. Like just the Word. Yeah. With files, don't click on it. Because huh. I'm going to show you more. Anyway, with files, it has all the files of the word mail. Pro settings has all the settings of the word mail on it. And if you see right here, the bottom below this is just apps that if you want to like, quick get to. So it's just really convenient on like, how you can find it and like how you to search it. You bet. Okay. So now that we're done with this, you want to learn how to multitask. So let's go back to, let's go to the desktop. And using the handy dandy search, we can search up the word desktop. Just type it in. Even, just type it in, even though it's right there. No, 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 no. no let's just type it in. Fine. Do it. it. <laughs> if you hit oh, enter, yeah, right there. just click. Right. Okay, so now we're at the desktop. Yeah. But we had the calendar open earlier, and we want to plan something. If you go up to the top of the screen, you see a little bit of a hand. Yeah. If you hold it, and drag it down. Now you have a desktop here, but we have nothing here. Mm -hmm. So check this out. If you go to your bottom left-hand corner or your top left-hand corner, it's all about preference. Okay. Go down, pull up your desktop, or go to start menu. Now go up. Now uh -huh. you have everything you have open right now. So click calendar. Right there. Now calendar is open. Oh, so you actually have like yeah, a multitask functionality. Now say you know you're still you're working on this, but you want to get back to your desktop. Mm -hmm. If you click on the middle bar that's kind of has like three dots on it, yeah, and you drag it sideways, but not all the way, you can multitask. Try it. Before then, I just want to like give you like a big prop for like independence. Yes, we just time dated this tech fade. <laughs> okay, so drag it over. That's up. Yeah. Now you're on your desktop, so you can work on whatever you're working. And now, uh, say you need to make a date, you just drag it back over and click your date. And switch it over. Yep. Yeah. So. Now that we're now that we have this down, who needs to multitask anymore? It's just taking too much space. Hideous. Yeah, you it's, like, it's not nice at all. I mean, look yeah. at it. That ugly shade of red. Anyway, if you click the middle bar and just swipe it as hard as you can to the to the right or left, whichever one you want to get rid of. But let's get rid of the mail or the calendar. Haha. Uh -huh. Do it again. Haha. Uh -huh. It's all gone. Yay. So now that we're done with this, you may be wondering. Okay, so you have the left hand side. You have two little buttons. Okay. But the right hand side, go to the top right or top, uh, top right or bottom right, you'll see more settings. 
can go up. So here we have the search engine, which we used earlier. Yeah. Sharing, which is if you have multiple um, computers or networks, like on the same network, then you can share files and folders through it. Connect to any other computer? Kind of. Start menu takes you back to your start. Devices, if you have um, a second screen, you can use an HDMI or um, a RGB to do it. Yeah. And then settings, it just takes you um, to your settings. Also, with this, you can check your battery level, your internet connection, date, time. Wait, the thing I really love about this, it's so easy to look at. I know, it's just really, and all you gotta do, you just, you just swipe back over, it's gone. Okay. So, now we're gonna move on to the final part, customizing your lock screen. So if you go to your settings, so go back to the um, start menu. <laughs> Using a little bit of left corner action, yeah. the right corner action. So go to your start, that's the wrong one. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go to your bottom? Um, to start. All the way up? To start. Yes. So go up to the top where you see it says our name on it, because it's our computer. And change account picture. Much easier to work through here. Now you want to go to lock screen. Oh, there's our terrible picture. <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's not the best thing. No. So here, you see our normal lock screen. Yeah. Now scroll down some. With lock screen apps, Okay, say right now we have calendar, mail, and messaging up. Yeah. So say a event happens on our calendar today, mm -hmm. and you first turn on your computer, you'll see the um, message of whatever's going on that day. Yeah. You can add more, but you can only have up to eight spaces. Since so you're independent. Yes. Yeah. So when you plan that special 4th of July barbecue, you'll be like, you know what? It's today. Yeah. It's today. You'll never forget your wife's anniversary. <laughs> or Mother's Day. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> And that was Windows 8 Part 2. Join us next time on PowerPoint. You ready, Steven? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go.